Hello, my name is John Palfrey. Welcome to our range of Thermal Energy Solutions basic training modules. Today our first module is going to focus on our storage tanks referred to as our thermal batteries. I'm going to take you through the materials in the tank, how the tank operates and how it links in with our web of energy being the central component relative to the various energy sources we can bring into our thermal storage tank and from that what we can deliver downstream to fixtures whether it be for domestic water heating, hydronic heating or pool and spa as well. Welcome. So looking at what makes up our, our thermal storage tank. Firstly, we've got a polypropylene outer and inner casing, hard-wearing polypropylene. Inside that is our polyethylene foam insulation, 90 mil thickness, which maintains the heat energy that we um, control in the tank. The, the energy in the tank is just based on uh, mains water that is unpressurized in that vessel, either in a 500 litre capacity or a 300 litre capacity. Inside the tank itself, you can see our rib configuration of 316 marine gauge stainless steel coils, which in turn creates the heat exchange effect. These coils are connected to the inlet, which drops to the very bottom of the tank, which takes potable water from our main supply. The coils wind up through the tank, often in a 44 or 43 uh, metre length, and joined to the outlet, which is plumbed downstream to fixtures as per AS 3500 part four. The tank itself can come in various configurations. This example we've got here shows a dual coil set. So two coil sets, one inside the, the outer coil casing here, which can either be um, a provision for a greater flow rate, maybe in a commercial um, facility that requires lots of hot water in a short period of time, or alternatively, possibly in a residential facility whereby one coil set might be related to domestic hot water supply, the other coil set could be for hydronic heating purposes. So in a very confined footprint, multiple energy sources can come into our thermal battery as such as it's referred to, which can be located internally or externally. A 316 uh, marine gauge stainless steel coil always providing hygienic water, which is very, very important in this day and age. So just to finish off today's basic training module, I just want to look a little bit more closely at the various energy sources you can see there via our web of energy. On the left hand side, uh, solar PV or solar thermal, electricity, gas systems, heat recovery through heat exchange um, sources, uh, waste heat, geothermal heat pumps, can all produce the heat energy that we require into our unpressurized vessel. Those energy sources are interconnected, so working unpressurized as well, we then can create the situation where that energy is transferred into our main supply of water, which is either connected to domestic water heating fixtures or hydronic or pool and spa um, heating requirements. In a residential application, typically it will be a single 300 or 500 litre tank um, maintaining the energy volume that we require to meet the duty load of the application, all the way up to the largest commercial industrial facility where we, in a modular design, group tanks together to meet the energy load requirements downstream to fixtures. So that's the first of our training modules today. Thanks very much for your time. For any further information you may be uh, looking for, please visit our website, Thermal Energy Solutions. See you at the next training module. Thank you.